Welcome to a screencast on the Nernst equation. The objective of this screencast is for you to be able to use the Nernst equation to determine cell potentials and other related quantities at non-standard conditions. So far in previous uh, electrochemistry work and electrochemistry screencasts, we've only considered oxidation reduction reactions in electrochemical cells with standard conditions. In other words, with solutions being one molar in concentration and gases being one atmosphere pressure. Well, what do we do if the reaction conditions are not standard, if we have different concentrations or pressures? How do we deal with this? Well, if you recall from thermochemistry that delta G equals delta G naught plus RT ln of Q is our relationship that relates standard Gibbs free energy change and reaction quotient to free energy change under non-standard conditions. And if we also remember that from electrochemistry we have a relationship between delta G and E cell potential where delta G equals negative NFE or under standard conditions delta G naught equals negative NFE naught. If we combine those two relationships start with our delta G reaction, delta G equals delta G naught plus RT ln of Q, and divide both sides of this equation by negative NF, then delta G over negative NF is equal to E, the cell potential. Delta G naught over negative NF is equal to E naught, the standard cell potential. And RT over negative NF ln of Q is equal to negative RT NF over NF uh, times ln of Q. And so combining the uh, Gibbs free energy relationship under non-standard conditions with the Gibbs free energy change and uh, cell potential relationship, we get the following equation, E equals E naught minus RT over NF ln of Q, where R is of course the um, known constant we've been using uh, quite frequently. T is the temperature in Kelvin n is the number of moles transferred, and f is the Faraday constant. And if we are dealing with uh, the normal temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, then r times t over f works out to be 0 0.0257 volts. And so at 25 degrees Celsius, this equation reduces to E equals E naught minus 0 0.0257 volts over number of moles transferred times ln of Q. This is known as the Nernst equation and it's the way we deal with non-standard conditions for electrochemical uh, or oxidation reduction processes. So let's give this a try with a specific example and the question here is to determine and interpret cell potential E for the electrochemical cell below at 25 degrees Celsius. And our cell is a lead, lead 2 plus half cell on one side, a nickel, nickel 2 plus half cell on the other. But notice we have non-standard conditions. We have a 0 0.002 molar uh, lead 2 plus solution and a 2 molar uh, nickel 2 plus solution. Okay, well, first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what's going on under standard conditions. And there are the lead and nickel half reactions uh, for reduction. And as we've done before, we look at the two half reactions for reduction. The one that is higher in reduction potential is the one that's more easily reduced. So that is the one that is in fact reduced or undergoes a reduction. So lead to two plus plus two electrons makes lead solid and that half reaction has a uh, standard potential of negative 0.13 volts. And then if lead 2 plus is reduced, then the nickel has to undergo oxidation and this half reaction, nickel 2 plus plus two electrons makes nickel solid, gets reversed. Uh, so as an oxidation, it's nickel solid makes nickel 2 plus plus two electrons and reversing the reduction half reaction to make it an oxidation half reaction reverses the sign of the uh, potential. So it's positive 0.26 volt, volts instead of negative. And when we combine our two half reactions to get the overall reaction, 
two electrons gained, two electrons lost, those cancel. So we have Pb2 plus plus nickel makes Pb solid plus Ni2 plus. And the overall uh, potential for this electrochemical cell at standard conditions is plus 0.13 volts. Okay, so now that we know uh, the cell potential at standard conditions, we take into account that we're at non-standard conditions. The lead 2 plus is 0 0.002 molar. The nickel 2 plus is 2.0 molar. And the Nernst equation in all its glory is E equals E naught minus RT over NF times LN of Q, with Q being equal to the usual reaction quotient products over reactants. And notice PV solid and NI solid are not included in the reaction quotient because they're uh, solids, and we do include, of course, the aqueous solutions. So Q is equal to Ni 2 plus concentration over Pb 2 plus concentration. So if we start plugging in numbers, E naught equals 0.13 volts. We just figured that out. R is 8.3145 joules per Kelvin. Temperature is 298 Kelvin. Two moles of electrons were transferred. Faraday constant is 9.6485 times 10 to the fourth coulombs per mole. And then we have ln of the reaction quotient, which is 2.0 over 0 0.0020. Notice that uh, when we do our calculations, joules per Kelvin times Kelvin, the Kelvin cancel. Two moles times this number of coulombs per mole, the moles cancel. And then a joule per coulomb is a volt. And you might want to try this, but 8.3145 joules per Kelvin times 298 Kelvin divided by 9.6485 times 10 to the fourth coulombs per mole, just those three, three, three things combined together works out to be 0 0.0257. So here we have this set up in the more condensed form of the Nernst equation, given that we're at 25 degrees Celsius. And then 0.13 volts minus 0.089 volts. It turns out that all this stuff here uh, after the subtraction, uh, after the su uh, subtraction sign, all of that stuff works out to be about 0 0.09 volts. And so 0.13 volts minus 0 0.089 volts rounded off properly is plus 0 0.04 volts. So this is still a positive cell potential, but it's quite a bit smaller than the 0 0.13 volts for the standard conditions one. And so this is still a spontaneous process under those conditions but it's quite a bit less spontaneous than at standard conditions. And kind of reasonable why that would be. Starting, We're starting off with a, a fair amount of nickel 2 plus, a fair amount of quote unquote project, pro, uh, product, and we are starting out with a fairly small amount, 0 0.002 molar or concentration of the Pb2 plus. So in a sense, this reaction already has moved to the right compared to standard conditions. So it's maybe not too surprising that it might not have too far, too much farther to go uh, to reach equilibrium. And of course, if we had started with even higher concentration of nickel 2 plus and even lower concentration of Pb2 plus, you could certainly imagine a circumstance where this term is actually negative and bigger in magnitude than that term, and you'd actually get a negative uh, potential for th that particular set of non-standard conditions. And so you can actually have a reaction that's spontaneous under standard conditions be not spontaneous under a given uh, set of non-standard reaction conditions. Uh, it didn't go that far this time, but that certainly can occur. So that is it for the Nernst equation screencast.